one, action. Hey y'all, welcome back to Chasing Dreams Homestead. So as I ended the last video, I said I've got a grand idea I'm going to talk to Mama Dreams about on camera so y'all get her candid reaction. But first, our tractor did not run last night when we left for the night. Came over during my break and I figured out the problem. So Genesis, come around here, let's show them. Was it the oil? Oh, that's sad. All right, guys. Get down there and get my glove now, brother. Get my glove, brother. So right here is the PTO, guys. Okay? Okay. We used the PTO for the first time ever yesterday, okay? okay? So here's the problem, guys. Right down here, Genesis, can you see what I'm showing them? Right here is a little lever. Right here. Yep. And that makes a closed loop when the PTO is not engaged. But the problem was it had actually gotten a little bit of dirt in it from the auger. So it was not thinking that the PTO was disengaged so the tractor would not start. So my oil theory was wrong? Yeah. Oh. Blah, blah. You have a shiny head. Thank you. Can you back up a little bit? That'd be great. Yeah. All right. So let's... That makes me so much happier, y'all. I was not gonna lie, I was very, very stressed last night. I'm sorry the boys are distracting me, throwing bottles and acting like kids. Anyhow, so here's my grand idea. Now, just to show them the elevation. It's a hill. You see this hill, guys? Yeah. It's all uphill, right? right? And this is what? What is this area? Down. I'm gonna make a pond. Show them your mom. This is the lowest level right here on all points we have a tiny little pathetic pond at the top Better than no it's two foot deep if that <laughs> that'll be next summer's so, project yeah so yeah yeah it's not gonna be this year guys but i'm gonna move this post oh <laughs> i packed that hold on genesis tell them when we dug this post out last night what did you say was in the bottom of this um there was wawa down there water lots of water yeah. And well, we knew that right there was lots of water because show them just. Y'all want to see our big old creek? Uh, there's a couple of fires. We don't want to take this. There you go. That little creek right there ain't much to brag about, but it's still a creek and it's ours. So anyhow, this is a low point on the property. It's a relatively flat spot on the property. So I'm going to rent a backhoe next year, not this year. Okay, great. Dylan's got a girl that he's interested in that's over to visit him but uh <laughs> so i'm gonna rent a backhoe and i'm gonna make a pond right here a pretty substantial pond actually but in, or in order to do that we're gonna clear some of these briars out that i've been calling blackberries y'all i know they're just green briars but we're gonna get that cleared out and we're gonna make a pretty good pond right here so without further ado we're gonna get started on fencing but we wanted to share that grand idea with y'all Mama Dreams and I are finishing this side with the cattle panels. And then we're going to go across the front of this face, this pen. And for all intents and purposes, besides hanging the gate, this pen will be ready. Now, later on when we have time, we're going to go back across the front of the, the pen with board fence, fence boards, and make it look real pretty. But for right now, it'll be able to hold animals, and that's the goal. So stay tuned and watch us try our best to get it done today. Where'd you look for me? I lost my clutter. They're right there, baby, hanging on the panel. Oh. She lost the tool to cut the wire, and it's right there. Hopefully we can get this done before possible rain. It ain't gonna rain. That's what we check in the tractor. They've been saying it's gonna rain all day so that we could not work today. We're not working tomorrow. That's right. Tomorrow I'm taking the kids fishing. As you heard me say, tomorrow I'm taking the kids fishing, so by the time you watch this, it'll actually be today, but you gotta have that blend, y'all. You can't just work, 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 work. 
I grew up doing that and it's exhausting and I don't want my children to feel like all we ever did was work. We all know the reality is we go on a ton of adventures, but you know how kids are and that's what they're going to think. So we're taking tomorrow off and we're going to go fish a private reservoir. All right, y'all, let me show you what we're doing here. So we're using these great big fence staples. They work like a champ. Let me show you this here. So obviously that's a pretty steep hill there. You come up that, and if we'd have kept that panel in one piece, that end down there would have been about two foot off the ground. So we cut it, laid that run flat there. Yeah, I will. And then I bent this one to make a 90 so that it'll take care of that corner for Mama Dreams while she wires this all together. The kids are moving the calf huts, getting those in place and uh, giving the bottle baby goats a little bit of time in the temporary pen. We were making light work of getting those panels put up. It's one thing we like about them is how fast they go up. They're also a lot stronger than most rolled fencing and a lot easier to put up than trying to fight a big long roll of no climb fence or something like that. As long as it doesn't start lightning, we're gonna keep going because the way this winds are blowing, this will blow through pretty quick. But, mama dreams. What was that you just smarted off and said, darling? I should've bet you. You should've what? Bet you. Why is that? Cause you said, I don't see any rain in the forecast, not on my phone. Oh no, it'll blow over. It's not coming towards us at all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I'm just trying to be positive and manifest a work day, okay? That's what I'm doing. The Lord said we need rain. We do need rain. Someone give us rain. And we'll work in the rain, and you was just saying you're hot, so this will cool you off. I'm not hot now. <laughs> but but y'all, I'm going to put away the electronic yes. recording devices oh. so that they don't mess up. But it wasn't supposed to be. Well, y'all, the rain picked up. So we're seeking shelter in the calf hut for a minute till it blows over. But, uh... Mama Dreams is out there. No, nope, that's Genesis. Genesis is out there itching to get that last nail in. <laughs> but yeah, the rain's picked up. Just me and the boys are just hanging out in the calf hut. And his buddies, you're all soaked. They wouldn't come in here until I came in here. Bunch of silly boys. Bunch of silly boys. Mama Dreams, you gonna join me? I asked Mama Dreams to come join me in here and get out the rain, y'all. I wasn't in the rain. I was under the tarp. Oh. <laughs> but then the wind blew it up and... I don't know, you jinxed us, baby. We'll give this about... I did jinx. We'll give her about five minutes, see if she blows over. If not, we'll have to call it, unfortunately. Get your dirty boot butt away from me. <laughs> and boys is enjoying it. It smells like onions in here. Butts. No, I think it's wild onions. No, it's them. I ain't ever heard of a goat poo smelling like it's onions. She said, Ray, your butt smells funny, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we weathered the storm. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a rainbow and a double one right above the tree line there. It's real faint. But that rainbow is right over the pasture, so it's a good sign, I think. I told you that storm wouldn't last long. Sophie Mariah, you guys have a very, very important job. Your job is that we are going to need these panels from the temporary goat pen to finish going across the front of the fence. So you girls are going to keep an eye on the boys and just make sure they stay in the fenced-in area, okay? Easy peasy. All right. Dylan. Yeah. Dylan. Yeah. Look at me. What? I got a question. Yeah. Here, let me see your face. I can't see your face. Uh, how would uh how would Tad's daughter feel to know another girl's coming over here to hang out with you? She's young. <laughs> <laughs> That's not matter. I'm just teasing him, y'all. I don't know what it is about the short feller, but everybody's daughter wants to wants to get to know him, so he's got another young lady coming out here to see him. All right, buddy. Go get your little lady. 
me and Alex will work on this. Well, I sure appreciate that, Genesis. Also, the goats need to go that way. Yeah, girl. Keep Ray and Paul back that way yonder. You hear me? I hate the Indiana clay. What did you say, kid? Hate the Indiana clay. That Indiana clay is going to make me one heck of a pond, though, darling. Because it's going to hold the water. It's going to hold in my boots. Oh, come here. The boys is having a good time, I tell you. All right, dreamers. Stop eating metal. So I've got to get this gate hung. So Mama Dreams and Genesis finish going down the line with the panels. And Mariah and Sophie keep Ray and Paul entertained. So I'm just selecting the paddle bit at this time that I'm going to use for the pilot holes for the hangers that the hinges mount on. I guess it would be called a hinge post, y'all. If you know the right terminology, correct my redneck butt, because I'm just out here talking. I don't know everything. All I know is hanging the gate. Out right here working with the old Milwaukee fuel, courtesy of my buddy Jake at Dog Creek Farms, y'all. Go check him out. He's got a YouTube channel. Hey, come here, boys. Long area. Go. Follow it. Hey. Look at the I got her sat on. There we go. Where's Alex? Alex took him a while. Oh, yeah. Zoom, zoom, y'all. Waiting on my little buddy Alex. He's over there, Paul Bunyan in a tree for me. When he gets done doing that, he'll be back out here and he'll help me out. Oh, what does Dylan do with that ring? There it is. Y'all, I like to use a wrench for my teeter bar, basically, to get these in. Hey, Jake. What? Once you help your mom, can you grab the camera so that we can show them what I'm doing with this wrench? Thank you. So Genesis is helping Mama Dreams get a panel in place. How much? Okay, cool, perfect. Because guess what? We got to cut a panel for this piece over here, anyhow, baby. Baby, won't you grab that camera and we'll show them how I'm doing this real quick? Over there on the tripod. You sound like your daughter right now. Oh, it's sticking to my shoes. That's that good old sticky clay. Tell him to come up here. I can't hear him from way back there. Can you see me, babe? All right, y'all. So I do my pilot hole with a half inch paddle bit, which is much more narrow than the actual gate hanger hinge post. And the reason for that is I want this to bite tight. If you make it too big of a hole, this will be loose. Oh, All right. So if you make too big of a hole, this pin will go in loose. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty daggum tight. But because it's so daggum tight, Try you got to sit here. And, <laughs> you got to sit here and muscle her in. And we found just getting a big old box in wrench works well for that. Does anybody know why there. somebody says that tight like a tiger? <laughs> Isn't that a tiger that said it first? I'm not sure. No, I don't know, maybe. I don't know where that saying started, but I'm very familiar with that saying. I know. Cute as a button. Like, how many people see cute buttons? Hey. Cool as a, a cucumber. cucumber. Yeah, buddy.
take that in one more. What do you want Alex to do with that tree? <sighs> Just pull it to the side, so. I had Alex Paul Bunyan a tree for me. I'll show y'all when we get over there. All right. Mama Dream, set that back on the tripod, baby. <laughs> so we can get the next post marked. Or the next spot marked, I should say. I just wanted it plenty high so it never got hung up on you. Yeah. And we can always roll a log right here in front of it too. Uh, look, Babe, yeah. I need you to hold this so I can mark where I need to mark. I think you're missing the assignment, darling. No, I don't. I'm telling you, this is probably the best daggum battery power drill I've ever had. I appreciate you. I was about to say, Jake's not here. Who are you talking to? Jake watches the video. I know, but I was like, what the heck? Yeah. Alex? No, not Alex. Hey, y'all. What? Uh, what? We're going to need the socket set so we can adjust this hinge. Dylan's got the socket set. It might still be in the truck. Go look in that floorboard, Alex. I don't know if he took it in earlier. We came over to look at the tractor. I don't know if he took it in or not. Passenger floorboard, buddy. All right. Tristan, was the socket set in the floorboard? You'd have had to step all around that big thing. No. All right. Alex, keys are on the truck. Bumper right there. Run up to the end. Tell Dylan to get me my daggone socket set. Okay, that's all right. It's all right that y'all took it out. We'll be all right. <laughs> y'all, this is the beautiful part about the new property only being a mile from the house. It ain't that big of a pain in the butt if you got to run home. Yo. Yeah, four high so you don't run up the grass. Don't be speeding, boy. Each time we do a fence we've learned so many tricks over the years and ways that putting up a fence that work more efficiently and better for us of course we try to be as frugal as possible but there is absolutely nothing frugal about these cattle panels right now i don't know why they're so sky high they're easily 11 dollars more than they were two years ago which is insane to me but thankfully my buddy ray gave us all of the posts that we're using for the front face of this so we were able to save money with those wood posts and just re reusing them. Y'all, Mama Dreams jinxed me. She talked crap to me when I said, see, baby, it wasn't going to last long. I just want to finish. <laughs> What'd you think it was? The rain coming. Oh, yeah. It's 
So yeah, she told me I was crazy when I said that last one wasn't gonna last long. It didn't last long. I can't get the gate on until our son gets back, darling. He's going to get the socket set, babe. Take y'all down here and show you Genesis and Alex. They've been a huge help. Dylan's been running around like a chicken with his head cut off. So I guess I'm gonna have to teach these kids how to drive look, a nail. Look at that one. Look at that one. Mm -hmm. One out of how look, many, baby? That one just, look at that one. Go back up to the start of it. I did. One out of how many turned out good? I don't like you. <laughs> you know what? Look at me. No. You know what? And who was still out here while it was raining instead yeah. of hiding? You. I wasn't hiding. I was hanging out with goats. It was pretty cool, actually. But you know what? I want to tell you something. Hold on. Yeah, right, right there. The way your nostrils are flaring. You get that from me. <laughs> yeah, at least I don't have big I got it. Yeah, oh, Alex is going to drive one in. Let's see if he can drive a nail in. Can you drive a nail in? No pressure. You're on film now. Oh, look, he's missing it. Oh, he missed it. Performance pressure, y'all. Performance pressure. The goat watchers are not doing a great job of watching the goats. <laughs> y'all, I think we're done. I think we're rained out for the day. I love that. I love that can-do spirit. Good job, bucko. She said, let us finish it. So we're going to finish. But I got to put the phone away because it's going to get wet. Yeah, test the gate, babe. Awesome, y'all. So listen, hey, we hung this gate high because inevitably these gates always end up sagging for whatever reason over the years. Most often, it's from kids riding them, but still. Close it, baby. We're gonna put yeah, we're going to put a log right there that I can move with ease. Yep. But all we've got left now is to go to the back and take care of a gap we've got. So let's go do that. Yep, you will. Open up, baby. Open, All right. Not set. Open, set. Dylan, go ahead, come in. Come in. Shut the gate, son. There we go. Your mom was worried about a nail. Right now, we can at least just drop this in here so the gate stays closed while the goats are running around. There we go. All right, y'all, let's take you to the back and show you what we got going on back here. Oh, that's Chloe's YouTube debut. <laughs> Mariah's like, why is everything got to be on YouTube? Because we're YouTubers. That's why, brother. <laughs> yeah. My son Abel tells his buddies, my dad's famous. I'm not famous, y'all. <laughs> so we're taking you guys to the back of the pen here. I'm going to show you our gap. Hey, where's the panel that was there? Oh, well, so... Lordy Jesus. I asked the kids to go around with those rotted posts and start blocking off the holes. They got one over there, but apparently they thought they ought to just throw those on top of that. We'll fix it. So that'll be an understatement, she says. Uh, yeah, and that's why it's dirty. All right, y'all. So this part of the video will be a little bit long. Yeah, I got a pound of money. Yeah, I got a pound of money. Where are you going, son? Turn me that back. It's still using it. Turn me that back, son. Oh! There's heat in here. Don't be hitting him. Boy, think y'all can get that out the way. I'm not hitting him. I'm not sure. Turn that to me, darling. I'm turning my socks back. Somebody go get me the bolt cutters. This way? You know where they're at? They should be somewhere near the front. That'd be my best guess. Yeah, I think they're over on this corner, or in that corner, because you cut over there. Yeah. So what we're doing, guys, or over here. right now, we're trying not to get beat up by these briars. We're awful. And we're trying to figure out the best the solution for this problem. I think we're going to use those bolt cutters a good bit. Because we're going to cut this off. Right here, mm -hmm. and I'll cut it. Oh, okay. Going up on both sides. So go and get your wires and come on. 
So you don't need that one? We will, baby. Yeah, we're on gonna the other side. Come on, so below. Bring me the bolt cutters, baby. Are you good? Technical difficulty. You got socks on? The boots are hard without socks. What? Do you have socks on? No, I took them off to get. Yeah, they get sticky on your feet without socks on. I don't want y'all to see my toes. Look away. We're not gonna look at your dog. I'm just waiting on the bolt cutters. Come on, girl. Hold me. Hold on, baby. Hold me, bro. I am. All right, all right, all right. So let's go ahead and cut up out right here. That'd be plenty to wire to it. And then what we'll do, baby, once you get this in place, is we'll also put those T posts that they brought back here. If we got any really short T posts, those would be ideal, guys. Yeah, that one. It uh, actually, all three of those should be the short ones. They Just are five of them. Oh, that one is, and that one right there by your foot, Alex. Do we have to clean this out? Not that one, Alex. We'll get cut loose. Patience, grasshopper. Patience. Ew. What are you saying, ew, about you? Grasshopper. Young grasshopper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. G, can you push that over there in for me? That was close. Genesis, can yeah. you push that in for me, please? Maybe. Hope you can. I have wired so much. <laughs> there it is. Perfect, girl. Good, Mama. We're gonna leave that just like that. I'm not even gonna cut that. I think we're good all the way up. You yep. want to take the wire for me? No. Yeah. I got cut it. Cut us some wire, baby. My job. My job. Maybe we'll try I'm to get done. Cut them. Okay. I don't have the cutters. Hey, you, you know what, guys? Right Mama Dream said this is her job. Thank we're you. gonna leave Mama Dreams here. Let her wire this up. We'll come back and dry these T posts in in front of this. But we're gonna go start our next stream of fence posts. Basically, what I'm saying is it don't take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people to do this. Y'all, we're trying to beat that storm, and the kids jump at every opportunity they get to ride on the forks. So we're just giving you a little tour of the farm. Stay tuned got plenty more work to do y'all ain't gonna miss out on none of it because we are recording all of this adventure for ourselves and also for our dreamers i haven't named him yet <laughs> all right y'all so we're gonna we got the pain done we're gonna let the goats he's so tiny mm -hmm. come check it out the boys haven't been exposed to anybody else no yeah ray and paul are the bottle babies they've not been exposed to these dudes yet these are our little weathers that Mama Dreams got from our friend Rachel. There we go. All right. Go back and get Supernova. Or do you not want to bring it? What do you think is that? I don't think we should. Have baby bear. Kids don't right. want to be in the middle of the field. All right. Have baby got home safe right. as well. That's fine. No, because now she's going to be lonely without her. No, family. she won't. The boys will be back at the house. The bottle babies aren't staying the night out and here. If I didn't have to feed them bottles, they'd be out here too. Yeah. But they're only over a month old. You guys checking it out, man? 
All right, so if I need you and Mariah to get some of those extra blocks and put them in that stock tank over there for me. Which one of two? The one that has water in it. They both have water. The, the, one big, that's deep. the one that's deep. I don't want them to jump in So, it. guys, the reason I'm telling her to put those blocks in the stock tank is just in case the goats do happen to jump in the stock tank when they're getting their water. Oreo. They'll have a way to get out and they won't be stuck in there and drown. That's something that every goat owner should learn and know if you're gonna have a body of water for your goats to get water from, have a way for them to get out of it as well. Definitely Oh yeah. We unfortunately learned that the hard way several years back. Mama Dreams had a beautiful Nigerian dwarf buck that loved to jump on everything. And one of our stock tanks was froze over. And he apparently jumped on it while everyone was asleep and got in the water. It broke. Yeah, it was it was really sad. He broke through the ice. And I've had a baby jump in the water. Yeah. So you try to do everything you can as a livestock owner to keep them safe, but Look goats, as fun as they are to own, seem to always be looking for a place and a way to die. Dylan, you're going to need to stack them on top of each other at an end like a staircase, son, on both ends. The way y'all just did them in the middle isn't going to do them any good. They're not going to be able to get out of there. You see? You stack them like a staircase, okay? So you'll have to get blocks on both ends. All right. Oh, yeah. I guess you could say these boys are doing just fine. There wasn't no rivalry or the normal establishing of pecking orders or nothing. I think they're just completely happy to have all this stuff to munch on. This is what it's all about. Got the land for the critters, our homestead adventures, gardening, and somewhere for the kids to play. Our kids will be able to have so many memories and adventures on this property. Y'all, we're waiting on Dylan to get back. Alex, what are you doing, boy? Oh, he's trying to slide. Oh! <laughs> Woo! Oh my God. Buddy! Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you caught that lip there, bro. <laughs> You all right? Can't be hurting my hardest worker now. You see that face? Y'all see it? Can you see their face? <laughs> I said that to ruffle her feathers. And she gave me that dagger. <laughs> it's okay. Be you, boo-boo. No. <laughs> Raw and real. That's us. Okay. You ready to get back to work? We're waiting on your brother, baby. We're waiting right, on your you brother. Said you got a foot long foot. I mean, them is size 12s, but it'll take, take forever to count them out. There you go, do it. There you go. Hey, you know what? While waiting on Dylan, why don't y'all do the Cotton Eye Joe? Your mom said you know it by heart. Yeah, they play the song. I'm beating for Cotton Eye Joe. I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> I don't know the whole song, sorry. You did good, buddy. You did good. You about to fall again, bro. So we're marking our next run of fence post using that trick Mr. Tommy taught us. It worked out really well. And as you can see, many hands make the load light. The kids are all taking turns spreading out the post, and it's been so helpful. So, uh, y'all, I just want to show you this tool real quick. This has made our life a lot easier. I am not sponsored by them, but the brand is Zozen. It's a measuring wheel. I'm pretty sure any measuring wheel will do. We got the 12 inch measuring wheel and it has worked really really fast for us to measure the distance in between fence posts pretty sure surveyors use something like this unless they're using the digital equipment now but for us this has been a game changer it has made marking out and laying out our fence path very easy to do so i highly recommend this if you're going to use any kind of tools to do fencing this is a tool i would look into getting And of course, I've got to give a big thank you to my buddy Luke for allowing us to borrow this auger. This auger has made the task so much more easy for us. And all of the kids are really throwing in trying to get this done so that we can be done for the night with the fencing, which I appreciate because it is a lot of work, y'all. It's a whole lot of work, but I'm proud of my family. I'm proud of my team. And of course, their friends who have came over and hung out with us throughout the process. Right, well, so 
We're still working on the fencing. These right here are very, very important posts because these are our gate posts for the entrance to the thing, to the property, I should say. So we've got to pull these because someone started to tamp it in with the post a little crooked. It's a railroad tie that we're using for our gate post. So Sophie's going to come over here and film the process on that. We're going to pull it out with the straps and the forks. I'll drill the hole again, and this time hopefully we'll get it in there square and level. Square this time. Actually, it looks pretty daggone perfect. We got the level. Let's get a level, y'all. Get it tamped. We had to dig that back out, y'all. And this is now facing the way we wanted it to face when we put our gate hinge points in it, our post in it. It'll be square like we wanted it with that other one there. Genesis, yeah. go ahead and put your marking line real quick so we can mark for our post that we need to put between these. All right, we'll be back with y'all shortly. You probably do have the palest legs here, Alex. I don't know why that's a bet, but oh yeah, them's pretty white. Oh man, put them things away. You blinded me, boy. Y'all, the kids are pretty excited. We're about to do the very last pole for the night. 20 feet, so do me a 10 foot spot, baby. Yes, ma'am. So Genesis here is using Mr. Tommy's. What was that noise? It ain't made that noise before. There we go. Operator malfunction. <laughs> Genesis is using Mr. Tommy's trick. Hey, hold up. Get off that line. Mariah, you got to pull it tight and you got to do it again. Because y'all let it have slack before she marked it. So now we might not be centered. Is that 20 again, G? All right. 
Pull it tight down low at the ground, Dylan. Down low at the ground, Dylan. There you go. Pull it tight, though, real tight. All right, go ahead, G. It's the last one, y'all. Then we got to go get all our tools and head home for the night. That'll work. Thank you, ma'am. All right, y'all roll up that string. Let's get her done. They got it without you. Yo, that's it. We're done. <laughs> Alex, some sweet moves, brother. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's been real muddy out here lately, and Dylan's little two-wheel drive Chevy or GMC, I should say, can't make it up the driveway, so we're gonna pull him out of here. Alex, get it, brother. As always, y'all, till next time, keep dreaming.